Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to CCXRC. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Furitex Gold Digger Rock Bouncer 124 scale titanium chassis that they have as kind of a slider here. In a way, you've got your uh, Micro Komodo motor with the transmission already in there, metal geared. Uh, you've got the um, servo and metal links axles uh, are the FMS style. You've got the shocks on here. So it's kind of like a slider. So you have to provide wheels, tires. You have to have a um, receiver and a... Um, ESC and then some kind of a radio to run it and then like I said the wheels tires So I'm running the RC four-wheel drive scramblers on the NHX brass wheels It's one of my favorite combos the lizard pro ESC. I'm running the avatar receiver and radio love this thing by Furitech. Uh, I put on all my comp rigs and favorites. They all get a number on here um, so FMS portals is what it's running. They work really good on this metal four links metal steering links and this uh, metal geared servo actually works really well so there's a mount for the battery you can do down low in here i chose to do up here because if it slips around like it is now it won't end up on that drive shaft in there it kind of worries me a little so unless i make a mount to go in there uh, I don't feel like the weight up here was any problem, and it's easier for me to Velcro up there. So we got a lot of video of this running on my course before I left town for a little bit. Um, quick housekeeping stuff for you guys. Um, I got a whole bunch of these right here. Uh, these are 5 millimeter box. So these work with the um, Traxxas TRX-4M. And they're going to be in with the Mighty Handy Tools from here on out. I'll have some available for sale if people have a Mighty Handy Tool and want to have it shipped. Um, that way, I've also got all these hangers and stuff uh, that lets you hang your RCs up on the wall. FMS ones are here. Um, Traxxas ones are back here. And then I've got SCX24. So the, each axle is different, so they each have their own set. And so i got a bunch of those all made up. If you're interested, they're on the website, guys. Um, we're also getting into the pulling stuff, and so we're making these weight boxes to go in the front of the SCX24s, like these, to put weight up front. Put quarters in them. 24 quarters can fit into this. You can see this one's open. Where are they slot in? Two quarters to each slot, so you can kind of change the amount of weight that you want to use in it. So that's what we're doing. All right, let's watch the rest of the crawling video of this amazing gold digger. Alrighty, taking it back outside, you guys. Here we go on the backyard course with the Gold Digger. Uh, this obstacle right here, I'm kind of wheel walking it down as I'm coming up to it. But this is an obstacle that I have not been able to hit in this direction yet to be able to um, pull the trucks up, except for with the larger 110 scale or the UTB 18. So for some reason, this thing handled it like a rock star and we were able to pull it over. Um, so pretty cool how easily it did it. Um, it's a very challenging obstacle, but this thing made it super easy um, to get up over the top of that back there. And um, maybe it's the portals, I don't know. This thing as well, I have some other of the FMS axled vehicles and I felt like this one turned tighter for some reason. I don't know if the steering servo set up whatever out of the box it it turns pretty good for me. So um you know every once in a while you get a little bit of the the chassis hanging because it is metal but you know there's so much clearance that it's not a super huge issue. That was literally hanging up on the links and the axle because of it being pointed uh, but overall this thing just got around <laughs> really really well and uh, surprised me so the track was a little bit tacky a little bit wet as you can see so that was probably good makes the tires they're not really holding too much moisture you don't see them looking slick so we had all kinds of traction for these scrambler tires which are already in my opinion super grippy and uh one of my favorite tires as i said earlier to run so uh wheel speed this has 
definite wheel speed even though it's set up as a crawler um, so you can still bounce it up I'm just running it on 2s uh, and that's all that I really felt that this truck needs for most uses um, but even here you can see you know that that steering kind of pull that front end around plus it's so lightweight you're able to just kind of have it um, turn on obstacles you can really put it against things and and have it kind of work its way around like here uh, but also you know hooking that back tire there's so much it's so narrow for the body itself unlike some of the plastic bodies we run you have a lot of room to get uh, that back end to hang up on a rock and spin around so uh, we're doing just kind of a nice slow way around the track and then at the end I do end up kind of going for like a speed run through it almost like a racer rock racer because I just was kind of curious how it would do with the extra wheel speed that it does have um, and I wasn't out there with the Hero Yama yet because I've got the monster truck tires on it still I need to switch over put these on but you can see it can just bounce its way up not a ton of flex but in this scenario I don't feel like it needs it I feel like it's actually keeping the tires on everything really well and um, the spots that it does lift aren't very problematic like right there uh, I didn't need that front tire getting down to the ground because I had complete control of it as it was so yeah um, really liking the uh, the course that one of the nice things too about this versus some other ones is that when it does roll there's still a good chance of it ending up back on its wheels and not just being stuck upside down because the way that it does stick up quite high um, above the wheels it doesn't just you know turtle immediately so it's that's nice because it does give you a chance to continue your run like a real rock bouncer where they'll roll over like that and end up back on their wheels so did that several times and did not put me out of commission it was more like a realistic bouncer and um, everything was still driving so you just go for it again <laughs> but um, here trying to come up the back side of the course and um, just pull it up over some of these obstacles here that uh, give it a nice I don't know, just way to spread. I like doing these kind of obstacles where you're between two objects and just make it look super cool. In fact, here's a photo op. All right, enough of the pictures. Let's get this thing rolling again. And another spot to split. You know, the thing that really changes things up is when you have gates. And I don't have gates set up right now uh, because we go between the thaw and being frozen or covered in snow right now. So... I'm just lucky that this is a time when it uh, doesn't have snow on there because right now there's about six to eight inches of snow covering the whole course, which might make for a fun one ten scale crawl. I don't know. Maybe I'll go out and do that. That might be a good idea. So uh, this thing, we're going to take it all backwards. Again, seeing not a lot of flex back end, front end up, then the back end up, but it it holds itself well through that um, and it doesn't roll over and you feel like you're in control here's one of those scenarios where the cage did kind of hang up on a rock but we were able to wheel speed our way out of it this is a pretty simple part of the course there's some wheel speed kind of showing i was trying to jump that honestly uh, it looked like a nice little ramp so i was trying to jump it same there um, and that's kind of where I get the idea that later I'm going to just go through here at rock racer speed and just, you know, make it a fun little obstacle course. So, um, this is an area that I actually am going to rework because you can come down through it, but you can't get your way up through there because it just, it hangs up too bad. So, uh, in fact, here I tried a couple times and then I actually, uh, there again, see how it lands on the wheels. It the weighting and the balance of this thing is really really good even with me having that battery up top it still wants to go wheel down so you'll see here I, i'm going to try and go up one time here but i am going to cut through all the attempts because it just kept doing that and then landing on the wheels which again is pretty cool but i, I reshaped that because it really needs to be an obstacle where we can go up through that and have a little bit of a challenge 
but be doable. Like right now, it's just not even close to doable because the way that you have to hook through it. All right, you can see the rocks in a little bit more. Now you can kind of, if you bump over it, you can get up through there, which with gates will still make it difficult in that particular section, but it's a doable part of the course now instead of being an impossible section. And here's where we start to rock race through it and just go for it, going for wheel speed if we want to do some kind of racing or timed things, you know, to change it up a little bit. I just want to see kind of how this handled going through all of this at speed and it was actually quite fun and also being very careful to not roll over that back hill because of the long drop on the other side so um but yeah it's it's pretty cool slow or fast but we're showing off the speed at this point for getting around and through the obstacles and it's doing awesome so um it's probably one of my new favorite of these mini sized rigs Right now, I just really liked the experience of driving it. And again, it just right through that, which is a tricky part to navigate on my course, um, it did it super well. So, boom, around the whole thing, super fast. Okay, guys, as you can see, I really, really like this thing. Um, I have the other one that's the speed one, the Hero Yama. And uh, I have the monster truck tires on that. Having these on here is really cool. One of the things you have to be aware of, though, is these wheel nuts are larger on uh, these axles. And so not all of the 1.0 wheels will fit in here, the one inchers. So you just got to make sure that you uh, are aware of that because I really, really wanted to run these guys. These tires looked like they'd be awesome on there, but I just couldn't get the wrench in there to tighten them down so um you have to choose your wheels based on that larger nut that you've got to be able to get in there a tool even with this one i was using needle nose pliers to tighten the the rest of the way because it was not even using the wrench working anymore so that's just something to be aware of but it's totally doable and worth the extra little bit of effort that you got to do for it, guys. So thanks for tuning in. As always, have fun or seeing. Catch you next time. Oh, also come into the UTB18 very soon. The new Raw 400 LP from Reefs RC. Be ready for that, guys. Have fun or seeing.